Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution! Brought to you by GhostBed.com! Yeah, James. Word up. You always look so surprised that the show is starting. Yeah. You know? You know. <laughs> There's always a look of shock on your face that we've begun to talk to the people. Yeah, I was just, you know, I was just still researching. Yeah, what, what were you uh, researching oh, on your computer? Oh, hard hitting journalism I on bet. my part. I bet. Share aloud. Yeah. Share aloud. Oh, no. What? I'm just looking at TMZ. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Cool. Anything, mean, that is the news. Anything that is interests the news. you? That anything is the news. interests you on TMZ today? Um, no, I just was looking at the Robert Griffin, the third, RG. Three? Three. Yep. Huge football fan, Jesse. A lot of people don't know. Yeah, Robert. Robert <laughs> Griffin, the third. Uh, RG3, sure. His uh, racial slur, I guess. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not um, meant to. He didn't mean to. It's, so people were talking about this. Look, he's black. So if he wants to use that racial slur, he should be able to. Um, it's, a, it's an old one, though. It's not, yeah. the, it's not the fun one that you're thinking of. No, no, It's no. not the N-word where you're like, oh, all right. I Is it that one? I wouldn't think that that was fun. No, but for yeah. him. The J, huh? The J word? For him, yes. The J word. Like, the J word? Yeah. Because I, I thought, so when I heard this story, by the way, I heard it before I watched the video, and I thought he was saying the N-word just because it's like, oh, hey, oh, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. down yeah. from up, whatever, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right, cool, because he, he is black and everything else, and I was like, all right, what's the thing? And then when, uh, when I saw the word typed out, it was J, and then letter, 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 you know, and you're like, wait, star, 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 and you're like, what is that? I what didn't... the 1800s literature is he <laughs> Man, I had to dig back into the history books. Now, I was like, what is that? Does it end with the Super Mario ghost? No, it just, oh, hilarious. That's, yeah, there you go. Yes. Booze. Yeah, it ends Boo. with booze. Boo. Yeah. Yes. yes. But he yeah. said I meant to say those... Bugaboos. Bugaboos, correct. I, I don't understand the difference. And by the and by the yes, way, is who is better? saying that? Yeah. Uh, no one's saying either of those phrases no. in this century. <laughs> and so when I saw that, I was like, wait, what? I meant to say something weirder. Yeah. But I actually, what I actually said, yeah. said. Oh no, 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 no. I didn't mean to say I like Hitler. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I meant to say history. You're like, oh, oh, well, eh, eh, no, no, yeah. With that one, it was so bizarre, just because, again, that's a word you just haven't heard. Maybe I he don't is. Know. He's kind of southern. He and is. He, you know, I mean, he is, like, yeah. He, I mean, he kinda. technically he's a military brat. Like he, he was born in Okinawa, actually. But uh, he, oh. uh, he, uh, he grew up most of his time in New Orleans and in, you know. Small town Texas. They gotcha. a white woman. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, is, is he married to a white? Yeah. Yeah, and he gets a lot of shit for it. Yeah, sure does. God. Sure does. You know. That's fucking uh, ridiculous. What, Jesse? Is it more ridiculous than than the word that he used? Uh, again, I didn't think he needed to apologize for it. Like it's he's black. He can say whatever he wants. Oh, uh, that's their own word, dude. They drop n bombs on SNL now. Like Che and Dave Chappelle and stuff will absolutely drop that. Oh yeah. So like yeah. I, mean, right. I guess it's yeah. a family show, but like Monday Night Football is not like a late night show. But was it right. afterwards though? Because it's so late at that point. You're just it like, was post game. Yeah. yeah, it was post game. So you're into the eleven thirty midnight realm at that point. I think you're fine, RG three. If you want to say uh, an old timey phrase like that, go ahead. Go ahead in my book. Right. It's, um, it's not like the Oklahoma Thunder announcer after Russell Westbrook threw down a fucking poster. Was like I said, he's out of his cotton picking mind. Yeah, yeah. Well, cotton what? picking, I've heard more recently than the, wow. than the J word, I yeah, think. Yeah, I mean, the yeah. J was an old Oklahoma white guy, and he was like, he's out of his cotton picking mind. Right. Oh, boy. And in the, well, oh, here's the thing. In the, in the context that I heard it in, it was not towards a black guy at all. It was. Sure. A white guy talking about another white guy. Is that worse or better? Uh, uh, I don't know. 
did white people ever pick cotton? Should that ever, like, are we, are we just singling that towards I, one race? Or I'm what are we doing? At least there? one person. One person. Of white ethnicity at least pick cotton. I yeah. think, they, yes. Just the odds. Well, they tried. Yeah. The Irish weren't really suited to it. They had to put no. it, they had to shove us in dark factories and, and railroads. Keep us away from the sunlight. Railroads, yeah. too. A lot of people don't know that it was the Irish and, uh, and the Chinese that were, were building the railroads. I learned that from uh, The Wild Wild West with uh, Will Smith. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Oh, I never saw friends. that movie. Uh, Terrible. I used, uh, I wrote a book during the, the late 1800s, so yeah, I, I got to study up on it. And I learned that my ancestors probably built the railroads. You okay? wrote a book in the 1800s? I did. I did. About the 1800s, yes. Oh, about. Yeah. Could have. Who knows? You know? Could have. You're one of those people that you just like don't my know talent, how old they are. No, my talent transcends. I could have been born then and written the same brilliance mm -hmm. today or in a hundred years. You know, I don't like to place myself in any time period. All right. I don't want to do it. Are you the modern day Dorian Gray? Could be. Is there a mirror somewhere in your house, Jables, that ages for him? Could be. Um, opposite, but yeah. Yeah, downwards, yes. just yeah. goes downwards. He has a filter mirror. Do you, you guys, guys get see that reference? These? It's a little, it's a little tiny. Yeah, we get it. Okay. We get the reference. I know you don't like make em ups We don't like make em ups very often uh, at all. It's the fantasy bullshit. Like, I just, it's not dragons, you know? And as long as we're not doing dragons, we're not doing dragons. Okay. Like, we're good. Do you guys do zombies? Uh, yeah, because of, you know, I've yeah. done some films, but... Because zombies I do, uh, are real. I do so. comedic zombies. I don't do the real life ones so where you, it's you, like... You'll right, do cool. Shaun of the Dead, yep. but not Walking Dead. Correct. Correct. Yes, I fucking right. hate oh, okay. Walking Dead. So you're not going to do Last of Us in January? No, no. Is that zombies? No. Yeah. Uh, kind of, yeah. Is like 28 like a, days later, I was into. It's a little darker. It's more like the road. Mm, maybe then. So I'll, I'll it, give it a gozies. Who's the Who's the dude doing it? Pedro Pascal. Oh shit! All right, yeah, mm. he's dope. I'll, I'll give it a gozies. Um, speaking of which, uh, we were talking about when the appropriate time is to talk about spoilers from your favorite TV show mm -hmm. before we came in. Yesterday, you and I had uh, Mark and Kelly on. Yep. She, he was subbing in for, uh, for Rye Guy on yep. that one. And it's Mark Consuelos, who's Kelly, Kelly Ripa's husband there. And he subbed in, walked in uh, hot. He, wa he came in hot. What, the, are you saying the first appearance when he Yesterday. literally spoiled? Yeah. So it was the night after the finale of The White Lotus. Yep. He comes in subbing, subbing with the wife, yep. and literally just starts talking about the end. Second one. <laughs> no Gives it up. intro, and I'm like, ah, no ah, nothing. Ah, muting, like. And it just, and for, and uh, maybe what, 10 minutes we gave it? And then finally we, we pressed unmute. Pressed unmute. Still, Still would not shut about the it. fuck up about it. He literally talked about, I mean, the whole season, yep. everything, the ending, what he would have done, what he thought, then what happened. I was like, bro, 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 well, I, bro. We, we turned it off because we are we watched, what, four? So we still have three left. Yeah, so Delco, so we really can't talk about it. Behind but it got, we me, it got me thinking because he was back on today and he goes, yeah, man, a lot of people were coming up to me in the streets calling me a fucking douchebag and everything. And it was like, yes, they deserve to. It's great that you have the time to watch it like at the exact moment when it's live and everything else. Right. Some of us don't have that luxury. What is the proper wait period for spoilers on a huge TV show like that? I think two weeks. I was just going to say two weeks. Two weeks, I think, is fine at that just point. Just gives people a cut. If they're really into it and they like couldn't get to the finale or they still have two left, something like this. Yeah. That gives them enough time to be like, okay, everyone's talking about it. Right. A two-week like buffer. A and six, if yeah. you really care about it and you don't watch it within two weeks, do you actually Do you care really about care about it? No, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Because uh, if it sucks you in, two weeks is good enough, I think. Unless you're out of town or in a coma or something, you know? Right. Um, but uh, with that, yeah, we're four episodes in. We have three left. So, yeah, next week, we'll all be able to, to share these and yeah. chat about it. But it's the people who fucking spoil it who think that they're just elite. You know, they're just elitist. Who is the running back? Well, he goes. Who spoiled the, uh, the end of the Avengers. Um, and he just wrote, man, sucks that fucking robot guy died. RDJ. Robot guy died? Wait, wait, Iron Man? Again, not that into that bullshit. I just don't, uh, I don't really care. <laughs> LaShawn McCoy. That's it, LaShawn McCoy. Fucking shady. Shady McCoy. Goes and sees it opening night, and then literally just posts out a tweet that said, man, that sucked at the end when Robot Guy died. 
Um, and I was like, fuck off, dude. I mean, the, the people just kept coming after me. was like, what? Everybody sees the movie opening day. No, they sure don't. They sure don't. If you're a real fan. Now, with Avatar, it's a different story. That movie's coming out this weekend. Uh, it took my, my children's to, uh, to see a flick over the weekend. And uh, I walked up. It's the first time I haven't bought tickets online in a while. And just bought them right from the counter. And they were surprised. They were like, oh, are you here for Avatar tickets? So I was like... No, I'm with my children. We're going to go see this movie. And they're like, oh, we're, we're really sorry. It's just selling out. Every show is selling out. And I was like, what? And I, I was hooked. I was like, well, when's the next one? And they were like, well, Saturday night's all we have left, sir. And I was like, I'll buy two. I'm, co- I'm going. Mm-hmm. And they were like, okay, great. And then I bought the two tickets. Yeah. And they were like, can I help you with something else? And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm here to see this other movie, too, with the, with the mm. children or whatever. So. Right. I'm in, but that's not really a movie you can spoil. Because no one cares about any of the characters. Nope. Nope. It's all right. visual. Yeah. 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 There is. You could not possibly spoil Avatar. Like, if you walk no. up to somebody and you're like, dude, you see Avatar, Sully dies in this sequel. Like, Who? And you're like, who's that? Yeah. 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 Is, he, is it one of the blue people? Yep. I don't know one cool. single character's name in that film. Uh, nothing. I don't even know the name of the land. Is it Ava- is it called Avatar Land? Like what did is you it? See the first the Navi. I did, yeah. What uh, is it? They the Avatar people are called the Navi. And if I remember oh man, what is that stupid moon called? They it's live a- on Naboo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well they have the energy source they have is unobtainium. Sure. It's a little on the nose. Yeah, sure. none, none of it matters. Uh, yeah, it just it, looks nothing. visually yeah. stunning. It's going to be yeah. incredible to watch like on a big screen. It's, it's essentially yeah. this is our generation's Fantasia. Fantasia. Like, there's no plot. You're just there to have your mind fucking exploded by the yeah. effects. And yeah. I'm, uh, yeah. that's all yeah. I want. And, you know, with Avatar, yeah, we're not spoiling anything, you know? Um, did Fantasia blow your mind? Bob? Yeah, did it rip your dick off? No, were you thir- fucking? In the 30s, it like, fuck, oh, people okay. were like, how the fuck <laughs> is this guys, happening? Guys, this is an allegory for imperialism. How are we not understanding that here? <laughs> that's what no. they want you to Shut think, up, Giorgio. Yeah, Giorgio. Giorgio. <laughs> God damn it. We don't do that here. That's, all right? That's all I say. We don't make up fake worlds. That's all I say now to any kind of news. Yep. Oh, it's purgatory. No, I say that's what they want you to think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then um, it starts like a whole conspiracy thing. Somebody told me the first one was about climate change. And I was like, yeah, probably. I have no idea. I couldn't tell you one fucking plot point in that we, goddamn thing. We depleted thing. all of our resources. And then now we are taking over and colonizing this planet to take their resources. Well, you, and then we have a two-pronged no, approach with no. dealing with the natives. Climate change, dude. Here's well, the thing. You know the plot points because it's just Pocahontas and Ferngully. No, it's fucking uh, Dances with Wolves. Or as or as South Park called they're it, they're all not the, the same. most insufferable three. What? Ever. They're they're all the same. But South Park the called dorky it three. The dorky three. Yeah. Smurfs. Yeah, you guys know all of this shit. It's crazy. I, mean, I know nothing about it. Uh, it's just it's cool if you want to take some drugs and go see it and throw some some three D headwear on whatever that's going to be. Let's let's rock. Right. Not going to spoil that for everybody. I'm sure next week I'll be on the show. We'll be talking about Avatar. How was it? Oh my God! Is that going to be in that The visuals. What was the story about? Who knows? Yeah. Who fucking cares? You know Nobody what I'm saying? Nobody knows. No one cares. Yeah. No one fucking cares. Uh, and the, the hilarious part was, so James Cameron uh, had got COVID. He did uh, a premiere in London, a premiere in Japan, and then flew back. And on the flight back, he got COVID. So he's, mm-hmm. he missed the LA premiere okay. last night for the movie and, and put out a message and everything else. And, uh, and then another story leaked from that premiere I guess for the fourth script, and he just turned in the, the fourth script for Avatar. Okay. And, uh, and I guess the only note from the executives was, fuck off, this is incredible. That's what they're oh. gonna tell you, bro. I, they don't give one <laughs> single shit about your scripts, your story, anything else. Just make the fucking tails whip in people's faces in the ninth right. row of the theater, right. and you're all good. You know, you're all good. Mm -hmm. Unless the fourth one is they take off the blue mask like Scooby-Doo at the end and they're all real fucking humans. I don't give a shit what it's about. Or they're just like avatars of Well, half of them are humans, yeah. Oh, Christ. We're not doing any of that. It's about the humans and the V getting along. Yep. That's what they want you You to think, think, Giorgio. (laughs) Shit. I mean, there's something else going on, though. It's all a disguise for climate change, Giorgio. I don't know. I don't know if any of that's <laughs> Anyways. True. No idea. So two weeks. 
is is a good spoiler time. And I, I think, think at, so. I think at that point you can do what he did the literally the morning after and was like, if you haven't seen it. That's your problem. Yeah, like, that's what he said. And I was like, it, it, that's your fucking problem. But at a certain point, you are able to be like, dude, I mean, yeah. come on. Bullying yeah. people in the streets? It's your fucking problem. Well, he lives, in, he lives in New York, so. Yeah, yeah. What he did say, which is probably true, is people were just yelling at him across the street. Fucking dirtbag, spoiler alert. He's yeah. like, fuck off. Yeah. Can I get your guess who dies? In what? White Lotus? No, 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 no. I want to guess. You keep talking about it over and over again. I know you're dying to share it. I don't want to guess. I don't want to know. I don't want to do all, anything. You don't want to guess at all? No, I don't. I think Coolidge. I have my I think Coolidge. I think I have my own thing. No, don't even say anything. I don't even want to know if that's right or wrong. Jesse will peek ahead. She doesn't care. I did not peek ahead, and I would never. Come on. I think Come Coolidge. On. I think Coolidge. Uh, no idea, but uh, I want to be surprised. I want to enjoy it and be like, oh, fuck. All right. All right. Let's go. Uh, I'm enjoying it so far. I know that. And we got three left. Right. Uh, they did pick it up for season three, which is good. Uh, I didn't think they would be able to pull off a season two, to be honest with you. Um, season one was so fucking good. Right. And everybody was so unusual and great as far as acting wise. I was like, eh. I know. How are you going to pull this off? And then they did. And I was just like, oh, shit. And well, now I'm looking forward to season three of it. They did because the main character, the biggest character in the whole show mm -hmm. is the hotel. Yeah. yeah so yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, you yeah, can yeah, really yeah. put anybody in this idea of like we go, you know, you're staying an all inclusive and everyone meets for breakfast and everyone meets for lunch. But I like that they're, for dinner, but I like that they're not the thing. really famous either. I think that helps too. Where... Yeah. None of the couple. people are really not, but like you could easily, like, I'm sure Julia Roberts is watching this and she probably called Mike White and was just like, Hey dude, this is awesome. Can I be in like season three? You have to say no to that. I think. Um, otherwise you could stack that with Dame Judi Dench and all kinds of people if you wanted to, but I think it's better that they're kind of like, you know, besides Jennifer Coolidge and Aubrey Plaza, I don't know that I know one other actor's name to be honest Michael with you. Michael Imperioli. Yeah, I, I, I know his name, but like enough time has passed because one of the things that I said to you is I was like, holy shit, he looks old, right? But he is. I looked, when we looked up his age, he's 58 years old now. Mm -hmm. And he looks you, good. He looks great for 58, but you forget, at least I do, because it was such a big series in my life that Sopranos ended like 15 years ago. Yeah. Like you forget that, that you're like, oh shit, man, it's been 15 years. Because it was so great. Same with Breaking Bad. That's another one to me where it's just like, has that really been off the air for close to 10 oh, years now at this point? That's a good point. Let's talk about that. So from Breaking Bad, yeah. uh, Cranston and what's his name? Aaron Paul. Gosh, they, could, they just haven't been able to make anything pop after that, huh? Cranston, I don't I know that you can. I don't he think you has, can. He has like three different shows on Showtime yep. right now. Yep. Movies, everything, and like, has anyone? Nope. And he's a he's a fantastic a actor. Cramp? So is Aaron right. Paul. What's he need to do? He's already a. He, first off, he was already set for life off that Malcolm in the. No, middle. no, 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 sure. no, no. Hang out. This is this is not financial. I know what you're know, saying. This I mean, is like, not financial. Does he? But I'm saying, is he even feeling the need? Like, yes. yes. Oh, Cranston oh, yes. is doing absolutely yep. everything. Like I said, I don't know why, Bob. It's probably to prove that he can do better than this one. Mm. But right, as twice. an actor, he's already he's been brilliant comedically and brilliant um, dramatically. With, I mean, like I guess he just wants to work a lot. I don't know. He's only working on passion projects like Godzilla. <laughs> well, that's a big paycheck. You take that money. You take that Godzilla. Your money honor, and, uh, yeah. The show, your honor, yeah. It's um, kind of like the same people that tell me to watch Blue B Bloods are like, "Have you seen your honor?" Yeah, exactly. And exactly. I go, "Mom, yeah, no." Um, Bob, I got a story that'll. That'll kind of settle it for you, I hope. I think so. Um, so at NYU, every Friday, they, they would bring in a famous actor to talk to the class, right? Um, but it was only like 25 of us. But the deal was you got to ask them any questions you want. It wasn't recorded, and whatever was in the room was in the room. Julia Louis-Dreyfus was one that came in uh, to the class, and I asked her a question. She got super pissed off about it. Um, I said, someone got pissed off at you. Yeah. Weird. Right. Um, but I asked it, I, I was being genuine, but I, I, I mm -hmm. said, are you worried that Seinfeld is so great and so massive that you'll never be able to find something that will match how great this show is? And she was That's just nice. Well, no, but it's, but if you think about it, it was a 
for me, it was a compliment. Like Seinfeld was so great, and I loved it. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I, she, yeah, she's, I wouldn't find that insulting. You wouldn't? Okay, no, good. That's I, it, a weird thing to get. I mean, she probably, if anything, I will say this: her anger might have been more from the fatigue of that question. Oh yeah, like the long well, winded. Well, no, I mean, like, well, hang on. So did she hear it? It was, oh, still, sure. it, what, but hang on, it was still going sure. on at that point, right? So this was in the summer; they were on hiatus. It was still going. Um, so when I asked her, she was like, "No." You know, this will be a springboard to other things, and there will be something else down the road. Now, later on, after that series ended, they called it the Seinfeld curse, if you guys remember, where nobody could do anything after that fucking show. Mm. Jerry didn't really care because he was a stand-up comedian, and he was like, I did my show, and that's it, you know? Uh, What's the deal with peanuts? Like, he didn't Mm. really care, and he loved being Jerry Seinfeld and being rich Mm -hmm. and doing cool shit. She did, and I think when Veep... Because there was a bunch of failed series in between. And then you had Veep. And uh, Veep all right. Veep fucking... Adventure, the new adventures of old Christine. Oh, God. Oh, no, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. We're not doing that. Oh, Nobody's doing that. Amazing. Nobody's talking about Why the didn't old it win adventures. all the awards, Ross? No, it was so good. <laughs> that, Joey, Cougar Town. <laughs> yes, like, same <laughs> thing. Uh, I was okay. just going to bring him up. Yes, same thing with uh, Matt LeBlanc. First off, Cougar Town's wonderful. <laughs> What was that one show uh, that Jim Belushi did? Oh, uh, according to Jim. According to Jim. According to Jim. <laughs> that, wasn't that a, a great one? Cable, this is what I grew up watching. That and then uh, freaking King of Queens. Uh, oh, like, I you, love you, King yeah. of Network. Queens. Yeah, dude. Yeah. The George Lopez show. Oh, calm Ugh. down. Eight God. seasons. Calm down. Stop it. Um, Stop it. Um, but with that, um, some people, some people are, are pissed that they're only known for one character forever. I think. You should be grateful because it just doesn't happen very often. Tyler Gray was here, and we were talking about it the other day on Drinking Bros um, with, with SEAL Team. They're, they just fin- finished season six, and they'll potentially be picked up for a seventh season. And I was like, dude, is it amazing? Do you want to keep doing these? And he was like, yes. I, like, I love the character and the people and all right. that stuff. And uh, nothing ever happens and never happens, right? Uh, that you have this one series that is so beloved that everybody is amped about it, right? And... I didn't get that vibe from her at all. Right. Veep was, it felt like a big fuck you to everybody of like, cool, man. I so did it So maybe twice. Cranston will get another thing down the line that we'll be excited to see him in. But I well, just well, don't let think me ask people this, would, would you are care? like. Would you care? About what? If you did Breaking Bad, would you care about being known for something else besides Breaking Bad? Um, if I was uh, the Jesse kid. Sorry. Yeah, not yeah, think yes. of his Aaron name. Paul. Aaron Paul. If I was Aaron Paul, y- yes, I'd be stoked. I'd be stoked that like I had Breaking ba- Bad. I shouldn't have even had that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And I got they almost like him off. so uh, he wasn't yeah, good in the beginning. That's, That's why. why. Yeah. And he learned how to freaking act, how to be on a show. He learned everything from Cranston, whatever. So he's he's stoked. He he got to the top. I think Cranston uh, has been you know critically acclaimed and did theater and went to school for it and worked really hard to be an actor. Mm -hmm. And he was on that show, the best actor on the show. Right. So for him, he's like, yeah, but I feel like I could do like you guys. Good career made. You you can all stop. (laughs) Right. Odin Kirk. I mean, you're good. (laughs) Yeah. You're good. Yeah. But I can probably do, I'm a very good dramatic actor, right? Right, right. So I'm going to try and do other stuff, but you guys have fun. Make a tequila, <laughs> Breaking Bad tequila, have, you know, go do all the meet and greets and the things. Sure. Do it. Sure. I'm going to go try and get a fucking Oscar at this point. I feel like I should. Yeah. He, and he could. And he sure. could, but he could. in a weirder way, I think he was cursed by that show in that... I don't know if people want to see him being normal. Um, I think they want to see him like the Breaking Bad, the, the yep. shifty, the dorky guy that's like able to fucking. You know, my dream is for him. Cartel. Yeah. Um, I, from the way that picked off, and we can tell the spoilers now because it was 10 years ago. Um, but from the way that ended, show his story now up in Alaska. Like, let's see what he's doing and then what happens. And I heard a rumor that it, it could be down the line or whatever, but uh, uh, people love Bre- uh, or Better Call Saul. So 
it's possible for sure. And if some there's a guy to do, do it, yeah, some people do. A lot of a lot of people do. Some people. It's not everybody. nominated for like a gajillion awards right now. So yeah, Malcolm in the Middle reboot. I fucking loved Malcolm in the Middle. By I the way, I, it's like deeply the underrated show. Yeah. Revolutionary. It was bigger than Breaking Bad. Uh, <laughs> ratings wise, it was. At the time. <laughs> Ratings wise, it was. It was. He's not lying. Bigard. It, it was. It was. It was. Uh, hey, ratings. Ratings wise, it was. It really was. They except really for the good, finale. Dead serious. They had a good time slot. You know those first two seasons of Malcolm in the Middle. Oh, oh yeah. Bro. Yeah. This was so King of the good. Hill heyday. This was Simpsons. They ran uh, things. Yeah. I actually, I've, we've t- I've talked about this before with other people. People always jack off like to NBC's great lineups of the past. You know what I mean? Friends, Seinfeld, right. whatever, uh, mm. and Will and Grace, and then later like. The Office, Story Rock, Parks and Rec, whatever. Sure. There was a uh, Fox has had the best shows of any network. I mean, they they were running out lineups that were just fucking insane. Simpsons. Name one. Yeah. Uh, I mean, at Family one point guy. on Fox, they were running out. Married with the, Children. The, the, well, even beyond that, this is probably the heyday for me. They were running out Arrested Development, King Shit. of the Hill, The Simpsons, that '70s show. Oh yeah. Family yeah. Guy. I yeah. mean, like just fucking. Lo- and that's uh, there's Drama. more than that. Like just loaded. American Dad. Twenty four. Yeah. I mean, they had, a, they had a ton of shit. Yeah. I mean, look. Yeah. 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 They, they did great. West uh, Wing. Unfortunately. Oh, and Malcolm in the Middle was in that as well. West like Wing was yeah, not yeah, on yeah. Fox. Um, but uh, uh, That's spe- what they want you to think. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's what they want you didn't to think. It was on here. Fox. Yeah. The thing that makes me sad about this entire conversation, and why we didn't know we were going this way today, is uh, they're literally canceling scripted at every single network right now. So HBO Max, which I have told you in the past, or fucking HBO. I don't know why we had to add the Max to it. Like, that was fucking gay. Um, they got taken over by Discovery, right? And I said, look, they're getting rid of Scripted. It's all going to be gone. And now they're just canceling shows left and right and trying to get rid of Scripted. Uh, you and I watched a show called The Minx that we enjoyed. Mm-hmm. Uh, they shot a season two. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's in the can. And before it went into editing, they said, nope, we're all done here. So you can feel free to shop that at another network and have them pay for post production. We're good. Well, net, you know, Netflix usually picks up that kind of stuff. We'll see. They're trying to get out of it as well because mm. they're in debt. Uh, so Westworld got canceled yesterday, which it stinks. It's uh, yeah, it I'm fine. To season one. Uh, look, yeah. you lost Jeremy or Anthony Hopkins, and then it was just Chompkins. over. Yeah. It was over after. No, they let us behind the curtain. They like it. Just I don't want to see robots that know they're robots. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Nobody the, does. The Nevers got canceled. I don't know what that is, uh, but apparently they were in season two. Love Life, Gordita Chronicles. Let's see, we're just cutting fat. We're, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, yeah. I haven't Game heard Thrones, one. Here's the thing. And sequels. Yeah. And then, I, well, I, I really like Mix, but um, but that's me. Uh, and then the rest of them uh, that got nuked, like Batgirl and all that other stuff, mm-hmm. uh, these mm-hmm. films. Um, TNT and TBS also announced yesterday that they were all done with scripted so whatever is left through june they will air um then they're going to go to reality tv there or sports um and that's kind of going to be their lineup over there uh obviously cartoon network is is gone or adult swim i'm sorry is gone so um get ready for all of that it's just too expensive to make and the ratings aren't there because we're all divvied up on 56 apps that have a bunch of bullshit on it uh, now, occasionally you get something good out of it. I mean, I watched the Weird Al Yankovic biopic with uh, uh, the kid my from boy, Harry Potter. My boy. What's his name? Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah. yeah. Um, boy. He's I watched so that. It was so fucking hilarious, dude, that I can't even wrap my mind around it. I, it was just mindless. It was on the side. It was Roku TV, which isn't even a, a thing. Well, it looked like a, a movie is. on the side, and I was like, "Do I have to pay for this, or can I just watch this for free?" Roku has some awesome partnerships with uh, 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 Walmart, and then also has a huge ad platform. But we'll talk about that. Yeah, I was going to say. So it, it had commercials in it, right? So obviously, that is uh, probably what paid for it. Um, that's the first time, and I love this because like two people hit me up, and they were like, "Did you write this fucking thing? It's so goddamn weird." And I was like, "No, is it that funny?" I was like, "I thought it was just a stock standard." biopic and that's kind of it it has nothing to do with his life nothing it's i it i laughed the entire time I've, I've never seen a biopic it's that a was weird al fake. biopic about weird al yeah but it's fake yeah. like the parents the family mm-hmm. um i was watching it with with uh jacks our, mm-hmm. our eight-year-old 
And uh, a guy comes to the door, and he's a door-to-door uh, accordion salesman. Mm-hmm. And it's our boy uh, Dangle from Reno 911. Okay. And uh, and the father's like, "What? What the fuck did you bring this devil's juice box in here for?" Mm. And just starts beating the piss out of this guy. Oh, okay. But when I'm when I say beating the piss out of him, I'm talking 30, 40 punches in a row, and there's so much blood. And it's right in front of the kid, and then the mom, and the mom's just like, "Please." The kid's like, oh, my God, I just want to play the accordion. And I'm like, holy fuck. And I'm like five minutes into this movie. What I think is great is uh, Daniel Radcliffe was doing press for it. And I guess part of this, like, surprise of the movie was, like, he was doing press in a really serious way about the life of Weird Al. And, you know, like, that's what threw me off on it. So he was even in on it. And, like, everybody was in on the bit. He played it like a drama. So. Even, like, there's no winking toward the camera at all. It reminded me of UHF. If you guys are a fan of that movie, uh, it was Weird Al's one and only movie back in the day. That was one of my fucking all-time favorites. And uh, it reminded me of that, where you're just like, what are you doing now? Um, I mean, it's fucking awesome. And uh, so if you're able to do shit like that, then I'm for it. Um, Because it didn't look very expensive to shoot. Uh, but they had, there was a ton of like stars in it too. Like Jack Black was in it. Um, the lead from fucking, uh, Westworld. She was in it. Evan, Evan Rachel, Rachel Wood. Wood yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, it was a bunch of people who were just like, what the fuck? Um, shit. One of the co-leads was, uh, the guy from the office, Dwight Schrute. Okay. Rain Wilson. Yeah. Um, but it was very good. But, uh, the problem is trying to find all this shit and where it is and where it lives and, and all that other stuff, right. and uh, I think they're all in trouble. And well, you know who else is in trouble and desperate? Who's that? VH1. Guess what they're doing? What are they doing? My true crime story, and they're looking for non-speaking role talent actors for recreation of crimes where normal people get caught up in. Jesse, <laughs> we got to get you in. I need to be. I've always wanted to be a reenactor. I've wanted to start a reenactor <laughs> studio yeah. where I teach everyone how to like wear the weird wig and like kind of be like, oh, like very, uh, you know, you're going to be in black and white is what I tell them. You're going to be in black and white. You have sure. to be way over the top. Yeah. Somebody's trying to kill you, you know. Is that is that a real casting going on? For You've got to su- dollars a day. That's fine. Submit Jesse for that. <laughs> I'll do it for it's free. It's not about the money, yeah. I, I just want to see her in that thing, in a crime drama. You know that's that was McConaughey's first uh, no, role. No, but VH1 is just doing true crime now. Yeah. VH1 is doing... Pod- yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah podcast. We're all going to podcast. We're all going to video just podcast. We're reenacting it with bad actors. Yeah. This is, this uh, is- your mic is out, by the way. Um... um it's, uh, it's not damn old Rob. Yep. I'm, I'm glad that narrative got fucking murdered. No, sure did, dude. Rob actually fucked up the mic. Can you hear me now? No! Yeah. Oh, yeah, he yeah. did it. Yeah. I'm, I'm on Team no, Rob. No, I one. know. Yeah, Rob got. Your Team Rob. Rob got jobbed. Yeah. 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 Um, Bob, Rob, he got jobbed. Like mm-hmm. Steve Job. Bob, Rob, he got jobbed. Bob, Rob, he got jobbed. I'm with you, dude. You guys snowed him the entire time, you informer. I like you, boom, boom, now. You gave him the bad cord, and you fucked up his whole life. You know how many times people have DM Bob saying you should murder yourself? What a great song, by the way. I know. Yeah, someone gave pe- my address. You know yep. what I mean? Yep. I'm just getting yep. fucking, like, magazine getting paste, fucking... death threats. Yep. Like, yep. Bob came out at Halloween. There was a, a, a cord for the mic. And it was just a scarecrow wrapped around it, yeah. a white scarecrow, and like, yeah. this is you. You should hang yourself. No, with that somebody mic like cord. at his front door made a noose out of a mic and put it in his garage and just hung it right. Oh, yeah, right in his garage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right yeah. in his garage for yeah. him to find for his pit crew guy to find. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, fun fact: there was ring outside of Bob's house that night, and it was Bubba Wallace who did that. So yeah. we know where you live, Bubba. We know that you did that, okay? Uh, but yeah, so uh, I unless. Apple starts buying Netflix or vice versa or somebody like that big comes in to buy these things. Scripted is going to be nimble for a while. And, uh, and it sucks because I love it. And we've had a lot of great television shows over the last 20 years. You know what I think about HBO in particular, though? What's that? I, I think one of the reasons they're cutting costs. Is, and maybe they would, obviously, they just want to spend less money or whatever, or have a bigger profit margin. But I think they're kind of in a rebuild right now. And I think one of the reasons is we have not really realized, because they were coasting on shows that started 10 years ago, that HBO sucked for like seven years in terms of creating new content. 
When? When, though? I, like, I tried to, I, I was thinking about that as well, and I was like, eh, they've never really had a full lapse. There's always been something. There's always yep. been an entourage, a Silicon Valley. Uh, they have not made, they have. A uh, curb your enthusiasm. We pretend to like John Adams. John Adams was joke. Let's not get into that. But that's also 2008. <laughs> what are you saying? The, the HBO has not had like a year without like a really good program. Yeah, I don't think they have, dude. They uh, Succession is the only thing they have. Right oh now, my right? god, that Succession! Is solely not true. They well, have yeah. white, literally White Lotus. White Lotus. White Lotus. Succession. Uh, House of Dragons. True Blood. House of Dragons is Game of Thrones. True count. Blood. True Blood was dope. Uh, what was sex the vampire thing? And that wasn't, the city. Yeah, sex and the for like twenty years. What was I'm the vampire it's one? Sucked. I'm saying for the last like six years they've gotten really bad at True making Blood. new yeah. content. Yeah, it was great. Okay. With uh, Snooky. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What? Snooky. 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 Find a down year for them, Bob. I'm trying to find like a Wikipedia now. that stretched out. I'm now they're down. It. It's not now. Yeah, but they're no. You've got the everybody loves the dragon thing, the little make them up. Everybody Are you loves thinking succession. Of Showtime? Everybody loves White well, Lotus. I'm thinking of HBO. I think Showtime under, now has had some down years. Yeah. Underwhelmed. Yeah. I think they're underwhelming. All right. Okay. All right. In the meantime, I'll tell you what, you look and that up. We'll do we'll do sponsors. Hair. You look <laughs> up the year by year for HBO, and then we'll go hit for hit on that. And see if there was a down year for HBO because I can't fucking remember. Sounds in terms fun. of making a new show, yeah. Well, or, like or where one was, you know, always having something at stroke. least one or two shows on that are like huge. Yeah, no. whether it's like third season, fourth season, whatever. There's a wiki. I've got it up, Rob. Okay. Up. Uh, in the meantime, we're brought to you by GhostBed.com forward slash Drinking Bros. Come on now. 40% off that bundle package. If you order it now, it'll be there before Christmas. So if you or a loved one would love to sleep in a beautiful, comfortable mattress on Christmas Eve together, now's the time to do it. The adjustable base is amazing. I controlled my own destiny last night, Japes. What'd you thing. do? And my, I put it up where I wanted to go, you know? Huh. And I like that. Good I like for you. that. They've also got a split king option in case your loved one goes to sleep before you. And that one will come with two remotes. So you get the adjustable base and the mattress combined together 40% off uh, with the promo code Drinking Bros at checkout. Now, if you already have an adjustable base and you just need the mattress, that's fine. You can order that. Get 30% off and two free luxury pillows with that. Again, with the promo code Drinking Bros at checkouts, and then you can peruse the entire store. Maybe you need some sheets. Maybe you need that weighted blankets. Maybe you need a cover for butt stuff. Who knows? Fill up the cart all the way to the top. Pop in the promo code Drinking Bros for 30% off at checkouts. You're good to go. Check the box at the bottom. It's a 60 month pay as you go program. No interest as long as you have decent credit there at ghostbed.com forward slash Drinking Bros. And you can walk out of there with a brand new bedroom set for 25 bucks a month. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Next up, we got Lucy James. Lucy. Get $10 off your first order uh, when you use the promo code Nooners at checkout. Dang it. Uh, tell us about Lucy James. Now, look, uh, a lot of us like to enjoy mm. nicotine. Yeah. Um, I think it's time for us to not really be embarrassed about that or shameful about it yeah right yeah no we're not smoking yeah. but we still enjoy nicotine and what it does for you it gives you a little bump yeah in the day nice pep a little nice pep in our steps yeah. so uh we use lucy breakers here yeah we do there's the new one lucy breakers out there this is at lucy.co by the way it's a nice co on that yeah one. so it's a little nicotine um pouch that kind of yep. gives you put it in your mouth gives you a blast of flavor and nicotine yeah don't be ashamed no we're not ashamed lots of adults choose to use nicotine but there's a right way and a wrong way to do it not everyone uses nicotine but if you do Listen up to Lucy Breakers, only nicotine pouch that gives you a blast of flavor from the first moment to the last. Each pouch uh, contains a capsule that you break open to release a rush of flavor into your mouth that doesn't fade away like the other pouches. You know, the ones that rhyme with thin. Uh, they come in so many flavors, mint, berry, citrus, mango, even espresso. Sometimes I, I throw an X in there, sometimes I don't. 
you know? You always do. Well, you not never this say time. it right. Not That's this okay. time. You've never said it right. Uh, you don't have to go to the gas station to get them. You can just order online and they'll be stripped, uh, shipped straight to your door. It'd be nice if they stripped right at your door. I'd like to see what my Amazon package guy looks like. Mm-hmm. Uh, plus, if you subscribe, uh, you get 15% off and never run out. Uh, so whether you choose to use nicotine while working, creating, or playing, Lucy Breakers are the intelligent choice. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Get $10 off your first order uh, when you use our promo code Nooners at checkout. And shipping is always free. That's Lucy.co, promo code Nooners, to receive $10 off and free shipping. Visit Lucy.co for more details. And we thank Lucy for sponsoring the podcast here. Now, I got to say this, Lucy products are only for adults of legal age. And every order is age verified. This product does contain nicotine. And nicotine is an addictive chemical. Jabes. uh, What do we got on that uh, that HBO list? What's on the hit list over there? All right. So, like, how do you want to break this down? We've got a list of continuous shows. I mean, how about shows shows right now? You have Succession. You have Euphoria. Okay, so you want to start with what's going on? So, it's going drama. We got Succession, Euphoria, Perry Mason, The Gilded Age. I don't know Perry Mason. Oh, The Gilded Age was good. Winning Time and then House of Dragons. Oh, shit, dude. Winning Time was fucking dope, dude. So, right now, I give them, like, a solid. Like B B plus. No right? way. That's an A minus for sure. Like I, for sure. I don't get into the dragons, but you guys do, and do everybody really loves like the goddamn Euphoria thing. Ross? Uh, it's fine. Instead of like a Rome, <laughs> or if you get, or like a Deadwood, you know, it, I really as you for you really. Right, hit so you right now, or no. you just want to be cool with? Hang the on, hang on, hang on, uh, hang on. Uh, well, yeah, I've watched. You Euphoria. haven't watched the whole thing. Uh, yeah, I've, I've watched close to the, the almost all the first season. Uh, here's my thoughts on Euphoria. It is not for me, but I, I recognize it is for a lot of people, and it is a very popular show that everybody loves, and they watch it live. Yeah. Like, that is a big deal. They still watch it live. Sure they do. still comment yep. on it. Yep. Like, as it is it's a going massive, on. massive show. It dominates social media. She'll, from she'll win all the awards this year. She wins, you know, every Dan, year. Would you watch it if you didn't use it to gaslight women? No, I'm saying it's not for us. It's not for you guys? It's not for us, no, it's for women. Sure. For empowering right, women. Let's, let's get to what's for us. The comedies. Should we get there? Yes. Sure. Should we get to the comedies? Yes. Curb your enthusiasm. Yes. Barry. Yeah. Uh, not for me, but l- people do love it, and Barry's I recognize good. that. Yeah. Random Acts of Flyness. Really? I don't know that show. A black lady sketch show. I d- d- right. did Righteous not like Gemstones. that one. The Righteous Gemstones. Okay. White Lotus. Oh, Gemstones Righteous is the best Gems. comedy on television. Somebody Somewhere. Don't know Don't it. know that one. The Rehearsal. Don't know that one either, actually. That's uh, Nathan. Nathan for you. Oh fuck! I want to watch that goddamn thing. Shit, that's what that's just, what it's called. Just haven't, you know. No. What is it? No, it's uh, Nathan Fielder. Nathan for you. Yeah. What's it called? The uh, rehearsal. The rehearsal. Uh, um, he's, uh, yeah, I, I want to watch it. Are oh, you watch it? Watch some of it. How was it? You're not a Nathan right. Fielder gal. I am. I am we, yeah, but, we, um, we love Nathan for you. I don't know. I don't like um, tricking people. Yeah, yeah. or if, if I don't like feeling bad for whoever he's. Like, not tricking, but being patronizing too, and not knowing that he's actually joking. Right, right. I don't right. like feeling bad for the person. Yeah. Well, we got season four of True Detective coming back, as far as an anthology. I mean, okay. come it's on. Not good. He's he had one season of TV, and then the last everybody. Two have been trash. So so people didn't like two, but everybody loved three. I didn't like three. A lot of people loved three. I like Everybody two. said it was back for three, so <laughs> two, yeah, I watched. <laughs> wait, I watched three. It was with uh, the black dude uh, from uh, Green Book. Yeah, Marahasha Ali or whatever. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It, Great it, actor. It wasn't good though. Yeah, it was, it was pretty fucking good. I enjoyed it. And then White Lotus is their other anthology as far great. as comedy. Drama. It's great. That's an A minus. That's a fuck. I mean, it's hard to knock it out of the park. Because even the other shows you mentioned, I know they were going for. You're trying to gather in all the demos and all that shit, like. So that's a solid A minus, dude. That is probably the best network there is. So Who's they better? Two, they have two reality shows. Would you yeah. like to hear those? Which if, ones? If you only got to pick one goddamn streaming network, you're going HBO. Yeah. Correct. Yep. Especially with the back Are you right catalog. Now? Yeah. Yes. Are you? Yes. I mean, I'm old school. I go Netflix first, then I check HBO, then I check Hulu. The very last place that I go is Showtime. Hulu's on the come up. Hulu's on the come up, dude. You guys are sleeping on the prime. 
Nobody watches Amazon What's Prime. What's on Prime? Uh, boys. Don't yeah. say it. Boys and Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. No. Oh, God. Oh. No. No. I'm amazing. No. So, uh, Wheel you're of two Time. Shows. You're saying, you're saying two Time. shows. Uh, Flack. Flack? Yeah, that's with uh, so, that's, uh, Sookie's new show. Sookie? Or, or, yes, from uh, Anna, Paquin. Anna, Anna Paquin. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, she's a uh, fixer. All right. There, there's one that looks like an acid trip that looks good, um, where shit's flying around with uh, the girl Chloe Moretz. Are you, you're probably thinking of a uh, uh, Wheel of Time. Yes, is that on? Is yes. that on yet? Yeah, but it's, it's kind of make them upy though. Uh, all right, it's probably well, not, I'll give it a go. Probably not your speed. It looks like a kind of like a Christopher Nolan type vibe. Yeah, so yeah, it's very dark, edgy. Like, yeah, I'll uh, give it a go. Yeah, I don't. Again, I don't want to see a fucking dragon run around. All right, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see any of that, but uh, that is way down the list. Amazon Prime is way down that list. Sorry, friend. I, th I think they're, they're on the come up. Yeah. Uh, and look, I think you just have to have them all. How's the Lord of the Rings? People don't talk about that fucking thing. Nah. I liked it. Meh. Everybody else was kind of meh, and nobody's talking about it. They said it was a bust. So it was a waste of a billion dollars. They spent $1 billion on it. Half of the billion was to buy the rights. Mm. So, like, people like to throw that number around, but it's like, hey, how much does they really spend on production? Because they just want to, like, flog them because it's never going to be good enough for whoever, like, wants it and does it. Like, yeah. a HBO is still first. Um, and now it's going to get ruined. That sucks. Uh, so, right it's now. Not, they're just cutting fat. No, 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 no. Guys, it, it is moving over to Discovery. They're going to rename it. Uh, they haven't settled on a name yet, they said. Um, but it's going to merge with Discovery Plus. So, sure. But every show yeah. you've said. But it's still going to be HBO. It's just going to be. So you go to Discovery Plus, and then underneath is all the channels you can go to. Sure. So HBO is just going to be in one of those. And then you'll press that, mm -hmm. and it'll basically be HBO. Hang on. So they're thinking about doing your life an HBO Fast as well, which is kind of like another. You know how Amazon Prime has that freebie? So they're thinking about splitting some of the series into that as well. Into um, what? Yeah, yeah. What is it, like Quibi? Yeah, yeah. I mean, look. Oh, look we have you we seen know how well Quibi did, right? Well, have you seen Freebie? Have you guys watched that yet? That's uh, Amazon Prime's spinoff. Um, and it's all commercials, and they're cooked in. It's free, hence the name. But uh, there is definitely run they're running commercials in that goddamn thing. Um, and they're kind of picking up shows from uh, Christmas Pass, renewing them. Uh, leverage is on there. Um, I got a, we got a couple buddies. On I like thing. this idea because it's, it's driving your your consumer to a certain place. Like if you want HBO style paid content where you settle in and like you're actually engaged and you care about it, you're gonna go somewhere. If you just want to put something up as like slop on your television as like background distraction or noise, you go to Freebie. We'll see. Yeah, so uh, somebody else, uh, Juan, Gla Juan Class in the chat says uh, they're not cutting the fat, but they are trying to split it into two different apps. Uh, yeah, uh, it's exactly what I just said. Um, so, yeah, I think there's a really good shot. You'll see video podcasts, including ours, on an app soon. Uh, I would give it over under two years, I think. I mean, we're on the YouTube app right now. Not the that. Patreon it's app. not going to be YouTube. It definitely isn't going to be YouTube. I'm just saying we're on an app. Well, I don't know. I, no, I, I think it'll be like a Roku thing, uh, and it'll be free. But they'll put at, they'll run video ads the same as like a, a freebie or anything else. They're going to run out of content, and they're going to buy catalogs, correct? I, that's what I think. Um, I think Jesse will have her own crime show. That is my prediction for the future. Okay. I think uh, Crime Corner or something in that uh, realm will be a video show in the future where they'll give you a little bit of a budget – for researchers, uh, mm -hmm. stock footage, and things like that to go along with things that you're talking about. And I think mm -hmm. that is within two to three years. I really believe that. Um, just well, from, You have to be able to curse a lot. So in yeah. whatever channel they put me on. Right, so. right. Do you, you, do you swear a lot on Crime Corner? So now I don't in the beginning, okay. but I do drink my crime juice while yeah. I'm doing the show while you're doing the crimes well i'm doing my crime show I'm, I'm drinking my my mom crime juice yeah and so towards the end i didn't think i did but i saw like a couple of episodes passed at the very end when i'm like talking about the lady getting caught and what the judge says yeah uh -huh. and i'm like uh -huh. read his quote and then i'm like yeah fuck you bitch i mean are you fucking like it just when i was talking about her and how horrible she was sure it was, there was a lot of 
f bombs. Oh yeah, it. yeah, yeah. So I would just have to kind of clean that up. Maybe not. I, I you never know. Um, would with, it be with called? Because I, I came on the other day. By the way, it's on Patreon on Drinking Bros. Would it podcast, be called Crime Juice on, on uh, Patreon? No, I think I think Crime Corner sweet. But I need you, you can drink your that has yeah. Crime juice I think you have your own is. wine. Called it's called Crime, Crime Juice. juice. Yeah. Um, Snoop Dogg just bought the the rights back to Death Row, and the first thing he did was drop a nine bottle set of Death Row wine. Nice. Uh, pop pop it up, Bob, if you if you got it. I think when he did that deal with 99 Crimes, was it 99 Crimes or 9 Crimes? 9 Crimes. Yeah. When he did that deal, he was like, wait a minute. Every white woman's drinking it's Snoop Dogg wine. 19. Oh, 19. 19, crimes. sorry. Sorry about it. Uh, so it's not it's 19 Crimes. a little bit crimes. lower. Pop uh, up, uh, just Google. No, you're on the wrong site. Um, just Google uh, Snoop Dogg Death Row Wine. And, uh, and that just dropped, I believe, yesterday. And mm. I saw an ad for it. And I was like, oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. So crime juice, I think, could be your thing for sure. Crime juice, yeah. yeah. But it'll just be like a po- like I've glued or like taped, just like lined paper over it, and it just says crime juice, <laughs> like in Sharpie. <laughs> uh, there over it is. like any kind of uh, rosé. If you were if you were a white lady going to a party, would you bring a bottle of Death Row Records no, wine? No, no, but somebody somebody would, as you say, it's not for me. But um, I it's think somebody would. It's pretty fucking would. cool. I'm in. I like the the bottle looks cool at least. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's kind of what wine is these days, right? You go to a party, you just look for the coolest thing. None of us really know shit about wine, so it's just right. like, all right, what what looks cool that'll throw them off the trail that was only thirteen ninety nine. Oh, I don't get any wine for thirteen ninety nine. What do you get? I go sixteen, seventeen, and above. Oh boy, only. James, I didn't know that. Give me your credit cards. Let's cut them up. <laughs> you fucking but if you, you go because that was the that was the joke with 19 crimes where it was just like oh hey this looks nice and there's a little story you can you can google on the thing and the, a spooky voice will talk to you from the grave about the crime they committed in australia this is what it's like you know yeah yeah just a little crime juice dude um but i think that's going to happen for real i truly okay. believe that is probably you're putting it out there not that just looking at the structure of the cheapest formats, and we talked about it with the Springsteen uh, Howard Stern interview on HBO the other day, we're just looking at the structure of where it's going, what is the, the next cheapest form of content besides a reality show that you could put out on a daily basis? It's, it's probably podcasts, high-quality video podcasts. Right. Um, so uh, my over-under is just two years on that, for sure. Uh, and then they'll start doing it, and then they'll just rip a huge back catalog. I think... Rogan is in for another massive, massive windfall. Because when this Spotify deal is up, he has such an enormous back catalog Mm -hmm. that whoever decides to buy it, if it's not Spotify, he's taking those videos with him. And that's that's what's part of that deal. Or like an internet show like Hot Ones. Yes. Oh, on, shit. That's yes. On Hulu on that Hulu. is on Hulu yeah. now. Did they change the format at all or is it still, no. is it still the same? It's, it's literally the same. just their show. No shit. Hulu, yeah. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah. yeah. They, but think, they had a pretty tight production. Mm-hmm. I think you're going to start to see uh, script. It'll still be around. And it'll be really, really stripped down the way you see shit on like TikTok now. You know, people will be the like, content creators that make like 20 second shorts. Uh, that are like basically shot on their fucking phone. I like I, I there's a lot of accounts I follow that do this. You know, it'll be like I don't even know if you call them episodes or sketches they're, or they're, what. They're episodic sketches with like a theme. Like there's a restaurant one that I love called Bistro Huddy, where a guy just plays all the characters of the yeah. restaurant. He's like, I'm the shitty girl waitress now. I'm the crabby chef. Like right. I'm the horrible manager. And they'll be like, Can you you can can you do this with eight people? Yeah. No writing room. Uh, yeah. Like two fucking guys shooting it. You're editing it probably. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that, it'll be that type of shit. That's was, wasn't it though? But with long form, yeah. you can put in so many more commercials. And that's why I say that. In particular in, in video podcasts. Uh, I was not aware that Hot Ones is now on Hulu. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Um, that's wild. These channels do insane numbers though. I know. Yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. I, well, look. To get I don't, to that point for Hulu to even look at you, it's like... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. absolutely, and I understand that, but I don't, the way YouTube is going now, and most of our stuff, you know, half the channel now is on on Patreon, the way YouTube is going now, either they're going to have to switch to an After Dark, and then a regular YouTube, because they have a YouTube Kids, just do a fucking YouTube After Dark, and then it's, 
cool shit. Right. And I think everybody will come and everybody can make a lot of money off that and it'd be great. Um, I think they're probably too dumb to do something like that, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, and I hate to go back to that Tyler Gray interview, but uh, I asked him if he was shopping any other projects because he directs a lot of those episodes mm -hmm. on, uh, on SEAL Team. And he goes, yes, but he goes, every executive is saying no. And he goes, the joke now is if you just keep saying no, you'll, you'll keep your job. And it's true because mm. if you have a massive failure, you're out of there. Like, right. that's it. Um, even that Black Adam movie took out, we did a show about that on RPR. Does anybody care about Black Adam? Well, the answer was no. Uh, it bombed. And, uh, and then they brought in James Gunn to fucking run the whole goddamn thing over there. So, yeah, dude, I, it's, that's what happens. They just canceled Wonder Woman 3. Yep. They canceled Wonder Woman 3 and, uh, and another big one over there. Uh, Black Adam 2 which he was a, supposed to fight Superman, I guess, in that. Um, and then The Rock posted something super unusual a couple days ago, and he said, hey, guys, just want to let you know, I talked to the studio executives, and Black Adam is scheduled to make the studio between $57 million and $62 million in profit, and that's a fact. I was like, all right, you're The Rock with, like, 150 million followers. Maybe 15 executives would care about that tweet or that post, mm -hmm. but real people and get what the fuck does that do for little Ricky in, in Missouri or Kansas who's just like, oh man, I, I wonder if Black Adam's going to be profitable. They don't give a <laughs> fuck. They don't give a baker's fuck. No, that's plenty of thought Andy it didn't. If someone's saying that he's not making money or like right. his project was bad, and he's like, oh no, right. like I got to respond to all these industry people. And right. Like, it's yeah. going to make money. Rock's here to stay. No, brother. it's not. Yeah, he's not. I look. He'll he'll be there to stay because social media will always be king. But uh, yeah, no, that the whole thing was like a blow yourself competition, right? Yeah, like he's <laughs> blowing himself. The writers at Variety and whoever else are blowing themselves, and just who can blow themselves harder? Yeah. Well, let's see, guys. Yeah, let's see. I mean, give me the stirrups. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> go get the stirrups out of the back. It's time we blow each other. We've got listeners here in the studio, too, and they're like, ah, shit, man. I know. Is this the day we came on that everybody's sucking their own dicks in the studio? Somewhere. They're such, like, a cute little, like, they're a cute couple. Yeah. They seem in love. Uh, probably some light choking involved. What was that? Right in the what, do you remember what that was like? Oh, you stop! Before you started calling me your first wife, <laughs> you can just say wife. You're the only one. You don't have to one, say. Jace. You don't have to say. Oh, it's my first wife. You're the only one. Okay. <laughs> Hi, this is my first wife, Jesse. <laughs> we're still. Oh, are you guys your, not married? No, I'm just no, his we're wife. Still married, no. but uh, you know, it's probably no. Congratulations to you guys. Are you guys married? Oh, fuck. They're not even married. That's why they're so in love, yeah, probably, there huh? It is, there it is. Just Dating wait, at least? guys. Chat room? How'd you guys meet? Chat room? Fuck off. Which one? Hinge. Aww. I don't know what that is. What's Hinge? This is what can happen That's on funny. Hinge. They're both so cute. Yeah, look at that. That's where you go for a relationship. Oh, is, oh it really? is it? No, it's not. Oh. No, it's yeah, not. It's it not. What is it's it? the classiest of them. I don't, we don't know any of these. It this is was past classy. This. It's definitely classy, but like you don't. It's not like a relationship. It's not like Match.com or like eHarmony. No, like, no, it's what I've heard people. is that Hinge is for people that are, you know, serious. Okay, so yeah, serious about being serious. They look uh, serious about being serious, whereas yep. these two dummies don't. Who do you think th is the first to go down and actually get married out of the two of them? Delco or, or Giorgio? Hmm. <laughs> That's a hard one, isn't it? Gosh. Good Lord. Lord, let's I ask mean, Bob because Bob's yeah, always. We're gonna Bob. have to ask Bob. We'll go to you first. You're always in the middle over there. If you gun to head, who would you pick first? Who's gonna get married first, or well, or is any of them getting married? If I had, I mean, if I had to pick one, right? Obviously, it's like a, it's like betting on the World Cup. You can bet win, draw, or, or <laughs> loss, right? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. But I guess if you take the draw out, um, I would go with Giorgio. Now here, now here's why. You said the first to get married. Mm -hmm. right? Not the first to stay married, be blissfully married. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 right? oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The first yeah. one to get into a matrimonial contract. Mm -hmm. Right. Giorgio. For various reasons. Right. That makes sense. Giorgio. Yeah, that makes sense okay. for sure. 100%. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know where it goes from there. Sure. Now, Dan's still lying to himself about thinking he wants to find love or something like that in this world. Right. I know. And, like, settle down. He yeah. absolutely does not. An absolute charade. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Well, I think on Sundays he does. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> right. And then it's kind of like the week <laughs> starts and it's like, dude, what? You know, it's like a, lo you know, a yeah. lonely, cozy Sunday. And you go, you know what? Maybe I do. And then something's happening downtown. And he's like, dude, fuck that shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I agree with that assessment. I think Giorgio, it'll go horrifically wrong. Um, and it'll be somebody met at a festival. <laughs> 
uh, on drugs and uh, with braces or something like that. And you're and missing key facts here. What's that? You've ignored the fact that like I changed my name in the middle of my life. Like, how mm. am I gonna like? Put yeah, a commitment to paper on something. I could no, have some sort I could of ceremony. I could see you walking down the aisle to like slander. I think you want to be. You want to <laughs> yeah. be in love. And I, I it'll be an it, Aubrey Marcus sitch, well, like it, somebody in that realm. Who do you think is the more romantic of the two of them? Giorgio. Giorgio. Yeah. Giorgio. Yeah. 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 Dance yeah. 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 like shaking his head. Yeah. No, dance I don't need. I don't need this sour patch kid act right now. Oh no, I'm only sour at first. Then I'm sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I have a hard exterior, but if you just stick with me, <laughs> yeah, there's a gooey be, center. I might be vulnerable later. Yeah, I uh, love a project. The problem is, Delco would have to find somebody who's just as unimpressed with life as he is, because no restaurant will ever be good enough. No thing will ever be good enough. This is a false narrative. I yeah, you know, don't I think, think so. I think Delco out in the wild. Is probably different. I'm not even the biggest hater in the studio for most things. Really? Yeah. I'm not even the biggest hater named Dan in this studio. Okay, oh, fair well, enough. Well, hey, fair hey, enough. Hey, 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 hang on, hang on. Fair enough. I don't think he's getting married either, so. Uh, like, yeah. I don't think he's getting married. He could married. be married already. No. We not. wouldn't know. No, we wouldn't know. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, we wouldn't know. Yeah. Um, but I don't think he, he will either. Uh, no. I, I think it all is fun, and then... It's like, oh, shit, there's a game on. I want to, you know, do whatever that is. I think we call them sun Sunday settle settle downers or something, right? Like, <laughs> Or like a holiday, like a, a nostalgic holiday you think about maybe. Sure, sure. And then real life kicks in and you're like, no fucking way, dude. Well, yesterday there was a light drizzle. There was fog. Sure. Great day for it, right? I want to be in a relationship. Settle down. Because nobody is outside at the bars. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> Then when it's, outside. when it's paddleboard season, oh, he's boy. like, later. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. Even that, it's like, oh, this would be a good day to cuddle in my relationship. Oh. You know what I was doing fucking yesterday in my relationship? Sure. I, did you notice that I left here three seconds after the show ended? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's because I'm getting yeah. texts from my wife you being like, I'm on the couch crying. Rory's in the fucking crib crying. I'm in yep. so much pain. Yep. Please, God, get back here as fast as you can. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we don't care about and your loveless marriage, right? And that's <laughs> what all marriages are loveless. I think that's the definition of marriage, isn't it? A marriage cannot have both love and children. Yep, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. It evolves into a deep caring. Yeah, yeah. For a longing for. Well, it's like a codependency, right? Like it's like. Yeah. I can't. I can't pilot the ship alone. It evolves yeah. in from what these two have, right? Yeah. Into a different type of like I want you. I want to keep you alive. Yep. And I want to make sure that you're, you know. Yeah, yeah. I want you to be around and alive. <laughs> and that's how I show my love, right? I'll feed you, buy stuff, whatever. But no, you're not like cozying up. Nope. On because a on a well, rainy day. One of your kids will come and interrupt that and just completely ruin yeah, it. So yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah, there's yeah, there is you're right. That is gone. Because uh, a, a child will run in and be like, bah! and then just ruin all your stuff. And you're just like, oh, okay, yeah. cool. Or like cool, what my four-year-old does every morning, which is like, hey, mom, I don't have poop in my diaper. Yep. Yeah. I'll be like, good for you, friend. Yeah. Just takes it down. To show you. Walks out of it and says, you can throw that away, mom. Yep. And then just walks Aww, in the other room. thank you. Thank you. Really? Is his father's son. Yeah. 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 Who, who really did that, right? Exactly. I poop in my diaper still. So, yeah. <laughs> That's the difference. That's the difference. But this is what you guys have to look forward to. Now, for you guys. We don't know if they're getting Delco, married. Since, since, do you think you'll get married before Giorgio then? Let's ask you. 100%, yeah. Okay. Really? I agree with that too. Oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, D Dan's ready. I, uh, I, I still content. Now, do, who do I think will... Stay married? Yeah, like wait till you find the exact, Damn. has to be literally yes. the exact okay. right person. Who do, again, who do I think will be married, enter into a matrimonial contract first? Colder feet, like no, no. Dan Dan is like, if someone- Colder feet, but more drugs. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You like, never I, know. I don't make crucial bad decisions like that anymore. Anymore. <laughs> like that's the, like I, I've, I've found stability and I'm clawing to that. Are I either of you even dating right. anyone? No. No. Yeah. 
Ah, shit. Well, I mean, that's, you know. Yes. That's, uh, wait, some of these? One of Dan them is. is. One of them is. Okay, okay. All right. Well, loose. You know it's serious because you don't know about it. At least he's on the, like, there's somebody there on the path. Mm -hmm. um, now, whether or not that ends up being something, who knows. But, uh, well, it's, I think it's a rainy, right I think now, it's yeah. a rainy season no, there's like relationship. Two girls I could be romantically interested in. One of them randomly flew Chicago because she was having a rough day. So that shows you the type of woman she is. And the other one. She what? Flew to or from? Two. Flew to Chicago. Yeah, because she was mad at her friends and they were they were arguing, so she just needed to get away. Sure, right. So yeah. that sounds like somebody who'd get married in a jiff. Yeah, yep. real quick. Yep. And real impulsive. Sounds great. The other girl is spending uh, Christmas in Florida and Maryland with her family in a fine northeastern fashion. So you know, okay. they wouldn't okay. accept me, and that relationship will last as long as it will. The family won't accept you. Yeah, no, no, they're like true blue bloods. Like an old school American white family? Yeah. Drop rich a load in there. Yeah, and now. and just uh, go ahead and yeah. enjoy the cash flow. Trust yeah. fund? Is she a trust fund girl? Oh, for sure. Oh. Drop bud, a load. Bud, there. Bud, yeah. Buddy, bud. I can't. I can't. You understand? Like my anxiety. Lock it down. Won't allow yeah. me to do such things. Lock it down. What, go to Nantucket. What, what? Yeah, go to Nantucket. You would All do of this great fucking in Nantucket. Rich white shit is awesome, by the way. Like, why do you think eventually, like, Jay-Z and all them are like, oh, fuck. I know. I've got fucking Basquiat's, and I'm in Nantucket now because it is awesome. Like, Nap all of this shit is cool. Napa? All of it's, oh, all of it's rad. Oh, Giorgio, go to Napa. God damn it, Giorgio. I can't let myself be happy. Get a wine shuttle. Exactly. Shit, dude. Get a driverless wine shuttle. Like, actual good wine. I know. Right? Not you wouldn't even know what was going on. Wine. Yeah, they're not serving death row when you get to the first vineyard. That's too nice for me. I need to go to like a Missouri winery. Oh, gross. <laughs> gross. That even was... I can't condone that. I mean, yeah. I'll go get fucked up at one, right? That's like, crazy to me. You know, we'll have a fraternity party there, but Jesus Christ, you can't just that, go. That's where I feel like I belong, guys. Those, that's my level of people. It's hard to dream big. Oh. <sighs> Boy, listen. boy, Giorgio. Yeah, listen. No, no. The best way <laughs> to infiltrate the enemy yeah. is on their turf. Yeah, right? it sure is, Giorgio. Is like sure by is. like by becoming them and then blow it up from the inside. Have you ever dated somebody in the rich white life like that? That just kind of, you got to cruise along with it for a couple weeks? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, what about you, Giorgio? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Did you enjoy it? It scared me because I felt like I eventually was going to be found out as a poor. Mm. Oh, okay, you had imposter syndrome. Well, right. They already knew first off. But yeah, they, they, knew. they knew going in, Giorgio, um, and they were like fine acted, with it. I feel like I acted as if they dressed me in their clothes. Yes. Mm -hmm. They showed me how to act like them. You yeah, know. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd watched movies. Well, you, it's, this just sounds like he's Jack Dawson. I know, or Megan, yeah. Megan Markle. I mean, it's it, so what's the fucking problem, bro? Are you wondering why I identify so hard with Megan Markle? Like, she succeeded where I failed. Yeah, I it's true. I couldn't fully commit. I couldn't man. become the you character. Broke, you broke character. You broke character too many man, times. Man, yeah. I was like, yeah. oh, I'm just dirtbag skater Craig boy. gave yep. you 1999, said, Giorgio is good, my friend. For He's good. <laughs> it's enough good for a life. Giorgio is good, my friend. Exactly. Like he's he's not he's not getting married, I guess. Or you're good. Like I'm Kenny Powers. Yeah. Man, I had a friend who dated this uh, trust fund girl. Um, so she was super rich, and they were doing the craziest like white rich shit of like yachts and fucking. Horse race. I mean, it was just all the things, dude. And he came back and he was just like, yeah, I just can't do that. And I'm like, are you fucking retarded? Like, what are you doing? What are you doing, dude? Um, Georgia, if that ever happens again, go, like like right now, it sounds like it is. Go all in for that. Um, that's, that's a life, brother. You know? Oh, no. I think Craig is saying money is good. Money is good. Oh so yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Giorgio yeah. and then a stack of cash, I guess. Okay. He, he, Anyone? He's telling me with he's this telling you that money well, is good. He's learn what it's like to be flauntless with money. Yeah. And Craig should know because he's rich. Yeah, he's super rich. rich. God. But yeah. Craig is super rich. Uh, no matter how much money me and Giorgio make, we will still have poor brain. Exactly. Like we're like Liz Lemon. Like there'll be like thirty grand in a checking account for some reason. Yeah. Which is just a terrible. <laughs> Why? 
Because you would just buy 90 camera parts with it? No, no, we just wouldn't know what to do with the money. Like, we wouldn't invest. Like, we wouldn't, like... Would I, I think just, you'd like, still be buying shit thing. and then trying to resell it for, like, $100 more on Craigslist. I, I don't know that it would change for you. Because you got to make that switch mentally where you're just like, all right, cool, man. Let's just enjoy the money and fuck shit up. Right. You know? Let's buy that uh, membership at Sammy's downtown where you can just walk in and not have a res. You I know? was trying to take a girl there. But then she flew to Chicago. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's a great spot. You guys had a date. Enjoy it. And she was like, well, oh, I'm in Chicago. I was like, I'm flying back Sunday night. Let's try to get a table at like 930 or something. I land at 9. Uh, couldn't get one. So I was like, ah, oh, I get that Sammy's membership, you know. I know. And yeah. then Monday morning, she was uh, flying to Chicago. And I was like, oh, you're leaving. She was like, yeah, I c couldn't handle it. I needed to get away. And yeah, I didn't like, get the Sammy's. Need yeah. to get away. I was like, oh, God, probably not going to. Yeah. Yeah, and that happens. Who did you go to the wedding with? Did you go with a gal? Solo. Oh, boy. Any yeah. lovely ladies at the wedding? Yeah. yeah. Many people my age. There was like six kids from college who got the invite, which was like super random. And one of them were, because the couple we were friends with, and they lived three blocks from the like wedding venue, so it's like you can't not invite them. And you weren't in the wedding, right? No, no. which was a little weird because we were like college besties, but I was pretty bad at you know letting those relationships go. Okay. Sure. Sure. You know, move, like really focused on life. Yeah. Yeah. I actually do a good job with that. Yeah. Well, I, it's, uh, yeah, it, yeah. Staying in touch. Yeah. You got to stay in touch. I you don't. You stay in touch. I do. He moved around a lot I too. Do. You know, was in a different city like every couple years. So it was a little hard. Yeah. I've been on a text chain for like years with the same people. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty mm -hmm. good about it. Got to have a group chat. Yes. See, yeah. I always hated the group chats because there would just be so much and it would be anxiety inducing. I and I felt like they weren't really genuine. It was just like, like here's some memes, or, like what's going on in pop right. culture. But ours are pretty, yeah. I'm... Ours ours mixed from, from comedy to sports to uh, like if somebody dies where you're just like, yeah. oh, fuck, dude. And a bunch of inappropriate shit you couldn't say anywhere else. A hundred percent. And then they name the group chat. Is your group chat named something? A uh, bunch of them are, yeah. Okay, yeah. So uh, we'll get to this story later in Drinking Bros. This says, is, and we'll, is, we'll end this with is this. This is the frat bro. Right. But no, right. hang on, hang on, hang on. Right. It's not actually, because we'll end with this. So we're going to talk about it on Drinking Bros. this afternoon. But uh, they arrested the uh, SBF, the Sam Bank Friedman guy, um, whatever the fuck his, his name is. Mm -hmm. And uh, they one of the things that the, the FBI got him on, his group chat with his friends was named Wire Fraud. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny, It's though. funny if, if you're not uh, bilking people out of $32 billion, but... Hiding in plain sight, huh? That was the group chat uh, that they named it. That and, is gonna uh, be, and that was there. That is going to be very damning to every juror over the age of 40. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like every like upper Gen Oof, X and boomer yeah. juror is going to be like, well, that can only mean one thing. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, but yeah. that's every juror you just yeah, named exactly, right there. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. No, because yeah. anyone, any millennial or Gen Z who's old enough to be a juror would immediately understand that like that's dripping with sarcasm. So on. you know what I mean? Sure. But like, yeah. Any, also, any, they know how to get out of jury duty. So they. Yeah, like, um, you don't do that. You, nobody goes to jury duty anymore. OK. Until you're older. No. Even then, I don't. I just, oops, I didn't, I never got that. Sorry. I'm all good. Uh, just throw that right in the garbage can. Don't care. Mm. Don't care about it. Okay. No, don't need it. Yeah. Don't need it. I'm sure that's fine. Um, yeah, like fucking Don Cheadle walking in. He got jury duty. It was a cop case, like pulling somebody over. And he was just like, they asked him, they were like, hey, do you think you're qualified or not qualified to be on this jury? And he goes, had a lot of bad experiences with cops, so no. That's what like, I said. Dismissed. Oh, did you, did yeah, you really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God, just as you're talking about this, The Onion actually has a really good headline. What is it? Grandmother claims she was quite the cum dumpster back in the day. Oh, God. Oh. That's oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing Don't to come. do with, what? This, with anything we what were talking about to today. Just the olds. Oh, yeah, the olds. Yeah, okay. Sure. Okay. Gosh. Sure. That was the long <laughs> way kind of stretch, around. To be honest, I think he just wanted to say I, that. He just wanted to find. Sure. Just wanted to squeeze it in at the, the end. I get it. I don't mind it, actually. I don't mind it. I, I actually, I, I welcome that. That's a nice yeah. one. Yeah. We were about to get out of here, and he goes, you know what? Fuck I gotta everybody, get this dude. Thing. I got to yeah. get that in. That's yeah. fine. That's fine. Go to iTunes, rate the show a five-star, and leave a quick review, or head on over to Spotify. Just leave a five-star. I'll stop asking after we, I think we're almost close to 2,000 on iTunes reviews over there. I'll stop asking. Just get it get it to ten thousand. I'll stop it after that. Like I'm all 
I'm so sick of fucking hearing it. So-and-so has 20,000. I have a call tomorrow with another show um, for to, to be a guest on, or they're coming on ours. I don't know what the fucking story is. And I looked up their show, and they had 20,000 fucking reviews. And they were like, oh, you don't know what this show is? And I was like, no, I don't know what it is. And they were like, it's got 20,000 reviews. And I went there, and I was like, oh, fuck. Now I understand the importance of that because I shill it every goddamn day on all these shows. I'm like, oh, well, that must be big, and I got to take that phone call. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get people to review, I guess. So go out there and review. Don't be a fucking loser today, all right? Uh, Just review the show and rate it, damn it. It's all they care about. Um, And then uh, if you want to see the the rest of the video shows that go on, we'll be live for Drinking Bros here at uh, 2.15-ish. I think Dan's doing somebody's show. Is that still going down? Dan, is, is Holloway back there? Yeah, I think he went back. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's a guest on a huge show. We'll talk about that uh, later. And then we'll be live, I think, 2.15 or 2.30 Central uh, for Drinking Bros Podcast. Thanks for being here, kids. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Revolucion. Buenos tardes, everyone. Good afternoon.